Okay guys, for these cookies, these polvorones, we are going to use one and a half cups of vegetable shortening. I am going to use a paddle attachment and we are gonna put this in our stand mixer. You can do these by hand. You have to cream the shortening. I have found that the secret to my cookies to get them real light and fluffy is that we have to cream the shortening for at least three minutes. And I use the paddle attachment with my stand mixer. I'm gonna let it go for about three minutes, okay? And I'm just gonna put it on medium high. It's been whipping for about two minutes. And as you can see, the texture is way different. It starts changing colors almost. It's very bright white. So I'm just gonna knock everything back down and let it go for another minute. Okay, now that we have this whipped with a lot of air, we are going to add our sugar. But first we're gonna make sure that everything is gonna mix up properly. So we're gonna knock this off the sides and we're gonna add our sugar. And this is one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. And I will have the recipe posted in the description box below, so make sure you check there. Okay, we're gonna whip this up for about a minute or so. Okay, that is incorporated. We are going to add our egg. This is one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, we're gonna whip that up. Okay, now that that's incorporated, we're gonna scrape everything off the bowl again to make sure everything gets mixed up nicely. Okay, now that we have that mixed up, we are going to get our dry ingredients ready. I have a quarter teaspoon of, of salt, that's three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, four teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, that is four teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, and we're gonna mix that up together and we're gonna add it slowly to our wet ingredients. If you add it all together at the same time, what happens is it gets crumbly and it's harder to mix. So I incorporate it just slowly. Just take your time with it and it'll taste better in the end. Okay, now that we have everything mixed here, we're gonna bring the mixer back over here and add this slowly. Okay, we're gonna add just a few spoons at a time just to get this mixed in there. Okay, and then you always wanna start it on slow so we don't get a flour bath. This comes together pretty quick. Okay, now I add the remainder of the flour. Okay, then we're gonna stop it. We are gonna bring it out to the counter and we're gonna finish mixing this by hand to incorporate it, okay? Okay, now here on the countertop, as I, you can see at the bottom, it's not thoroughly mixed. So we need to get this mixed up thoroughly. Okay, now with clean hands, just wanna smush this together until it comes together. Okay, and there's our dough. It should basically look like wet sand. Okay, I'm gonna give you a close-up. If you press it here, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a bowl. We're gonna start rolling out the little balls and start shaping them. Okay guys, for the first batch of cookies, what we do is I get a dough scoop just to keep the cookies uniform. And I just form out a ball roll it in my hand, press it down a little bit, and here in a bowl of regular granulated sugar, I just press it in the middle, just like that gently, not too hard, and just put it on the surface of the cookie. And then I start putting them on a tray. And that's all there is to it. Just roll out the balls, press them down a little bit, put them in the sugar, and out you go. And I just keep going. And of course, you can make them any size you like. That's totally up to you. you if you wanna put, like I said, if you wanna put different color sprinkles, you know, that's all totally up to you. You make them how you like them. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going with these and then we're gonna pop these in the oven at 325 for 30 minutes.
Okay guys, these are it. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Like I said, 325 for 30 minutes and we'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay guys, the cookies were in the oven for 30 minutes exactly. Okay, and this is what they look like. They're still very hot, but they should look nice and toasty on the bottom, okay? And they're real flaky on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up so you can see how, see how they're all real toasty. Okay, I'm gonna break one so y'all can see how flaky they're still very hot. See how flaky they are. I'm still waiting on the other ones to come out of the oven, but we're going to let these cool. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I'm going to show y'all how I do some with other sprinkles as well. I pick any kind of sprinkles. It doesn't matter. I just get the, the cookie, and here I have these different multicolored sprinkles. You just push them in, put them on, and press them down just a little bit, just like that. Okay, push it down, like that, push it down. You don't have to put too many. And I do put a parchment on these because I don't like them running on my trays. See, just like that. And then of course we have Halloween close by so you can do some orange and black ones. You can make these for birthday parties, for um, all kinds of stuff. Here we go. Okay guys, here are all the cookies. Here are the ones with the sprinkles that we added. And here are the ones with the Halloween colors. And here are the ones with just the plain sugar. And they are delicious. They're very, very flaky. I'm going to break one so you can see how flaky they are. They get crunchy. Great with a cold glass of milk or a hot cup of coffee, whichever you prefer. I will have the recipe posted in the link below. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please go visit us on my Facebook page at Virtual Kitchen with Laura and like our page and share our videos. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you all later. Bye. If you like the video and want to see more of these, please give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys. Okay guys, <clears throat> here are the cookies all out of the oven. Here are the ones with the Halloween colors, the ones with the regular sprinkles, and the ones with the sugar. Now they did stay in the oven for exactly 30 minutes. Out of at a 325 degree oven and then I just let them cool and that's it they're ready to go you can bag them you can freeze them um, if they last that long tell us down in the comments below what's your favorite one from the ones here if you like our video guys and want to see more of these please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and go like our page on Facebook at Virtual Kitchen with Laura thank you so much for watching my videos guys and thank you for sharing them on your social media talk to y'all later bye